my worst nightmare. So get into a little trippy. Okay, bro, this seems dangerous. I can't see it. Oh, please tell me you see it. Please tell me you see it. This drone flies on literally anything. 850s, 550s, 450s, even 18650s. Check out my video on building this pack after you watch this current video. But today, we're going to answer the question of whether or not a 3-inch 1S can fly 300 milliamp hour batteries. Yes, the same kind that's used in those tiny 65 millimeter whoops. All right, so really quick, a little backstory. If you guys don't know, I became absolutely obsessed and addicted to this platform. I saw some of these homies flying them on YouTube, building them, and I just had to make one myself, mostly because of the efficiency claim. So everyone says that these fly for a really long time on 1S batteries, and that's because these three inch bi-blade propellers are very efficient, especially paired with these 1202.5 motors. We're gonna take a look at this on the bench later, but just stay with me for now. So rewind a little bit. Early in my FPV journey, I started out with a Meteor 75 Pro. Like, probably a lot of you did. And when I was buying batteries for that thing, I thought that the only thing that really mattered was the cell count, not the capacity. So I accidentally bought a pack of Beta FPV Lava 300 milliamp hour 1S batteries. And naturally I plugged them into my Meter 75 Pro and went for a rip and oh my gosh, you guys, the 300 milliamp hour feels so great to fly. The only problem is it only lasted like 30 to 50 seconds. We'll say 45 seconds as a nice sweet spot with doing freestyle. And I think we can all agree that no one wants to just fly for 45 seconds. We need like at least two minutes, right? So eventually I ended up upgrading to 450 and 550 milliamp hour 1S batteries, but I never forgot how nicely those 300 miles flew. Ended up just shelving them in a battery bag. But fast forward to me building this thing, I was in shock of how long I was getting on a 550 and 450. So I thought, wait, what about those 300 miles? Could it work? I think it might actually not be a meme. We're gonna go try it out today, but to make the video a little bit more interesting, we're also gonna compare it to a 550 and an 850. If you guys haven't seen my 850 video, I flew for over 10 minutes by just doing like super slow cruising on this thing, on this 1S. So we're gonna actually like freestyle a little bit harder today. I'll fly one pack on each at the same spot doing relatively similar flight style. And then at the end, we'll talk about which one is maybe best for each type of pilot. And I'm just gonna keep glazing this thing more so that more of you hopefully build these because everyone needs to be flying one of these. It is so much fun and easy to build, no soldering required. Okay, um, I'll see you guys at the park. Okay, I lied. Actually, we are just taking a quick look at this. So you can see what I'm flying. If you guys want a fully dedicated video where I build this from scratch, let me know. But here are the parts. Newbie Drone Frame, which I upgraded from a Crux 3. This is more durable, slightly heavier, worth it in my opinion. FC is Beta FPV Matrix 3-in-1 with plugs. I have one plug broken off here, which you can see. I fixed this later, but I love the plugs. Since I'm doing freestyle, I've broken some motors, so it's great to be able to just pop in a new motor at the field without soldering. And this build can handle the weight, so I'm not concerned. I might look into direct soldering later to give me more power but I need to research if that's actually a thing let me know if you know battery strap I'm just using the one that came with the newbie drone frame I also have these rubber bands going perpendicular to hold 18650 which worked great for me like this canopy is from beta FPV same one on the meteor 75 or meteor 65 pro but I modified it with nail clippers to fit the Flywoo adapter in with friction. Motors are Happy Model 1202.5, 11,500 kV. Props, HQ, durable three inch bio blade. I like these better than the Gemfan 3018s because they are thicker and for open prop design, I break way less of them, but slightly heavier. And then I use these mini rubber bands to kind of hold everything down so that the wires don't flare up, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go fly. What's up? All right, this is the 300 mAh flight. Started off with the lightest battery and I'm just gonna give like a live reaction while I'm watching this thing. Excuse me, I just burped. All right, so right off the bat, um, insanely agile. I mean, this was my first pack of the day. So you can see I'm kind of just warming up. Almost wish I did a warm up pack before this, but it turned out okay. Get into a trippy immediately and I really apologize for the video quality, guys. This is 1080p 4x3. But something happened where the actual like DJI 04 like baked in footage, um, it like didn't record. I, I checked the uh, I checked the 04 light with USB-C and just nothing there. So this is from the goggles, but there's no DVR. I'm really confused. I think it like, I must've had some weird setting on, but I'm using it because this is the only footage I have. 
and I think it still shows the flight characteristics well. So already we're going for about a minute here and I'm really impressed that this thing is still going and hasn't like browned out on me. Definitely would have browned out on the Meteor 75 Pro or like anything less efficient, but I mean, you're just able to do like any type of freestyle you want with this thing and fly for probably well over two minutes if you're not going this hard. I know this isn't crazy, but like I was trying to be at least relatively high on the throttle for the entire pack to give an actual good test. You can see a little bit rusty on the juicy flicks with the whoops, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think at this point I'm kind of slowing it down a little bit here because the battery may have started giving me some warnings. I wish I could see the OSD and get the readings here, but uh, even a little power loop. Funny, I actually think power loops might be easier with a slightly heavier battery with more like throw and inertia. Um, try a little cradle there and failed, but overall, yeah, I'm happy with the 300 milliamp hour guys. So let's compare it to a 550 and an 850 coming up next. Spoiler alert, the 850 ends up in a tree, which you will see. But I crashed it here. I think there was a little more voltage on there. I probably could have gone up and flown for another 30 seconds or so, but decided to end it there on the crash. Okay, 550. So again, really apologize for the quality on this video. It almost looks like there was like a film over the lens. So I need to get better at all of this shit, but we're going with it for now. So the 550, immediately I'm getting into like some decent flow here. I know this is my second pack, but I do kind of feel like the slightly added weight when moving up from the 300 milliamp hour helps with like some maneuvers and like, I don't know, I guess maybe I'm just used to flying like five inch in sim. I've been doing that a lot. So this feels a little bit closer to that. It does feel slightly less agile than the 300 ma. It does kind of feel like you can, you can feel the gravity kind of pulling it down more when you get off the throttle, it just wants to hit the ground more, but you just compensate with a little bit more throttle and I think it's great. The added benefit of the 550 Ma is just so much more flight time with not much less performance, if that makes sense. I love a little shadow chase here, it's so fun. I was kind of trying to get into some nearly hitting the shadow and then uh, I think I eventually maybe try to power loop those trees but fail. But this was a great day to fly, no one here and not that this drone really bothers anyone so that's another great reason that I love this thing you can fly it anywhere without anyone getting pissed off or scared um, I also probably have the most stick time on the 550 so it feels most familiar to me muscle memory wise okay a little bit of some sloppiness there but man I'm getting uh, flashbacks every time I hit every time I come near those palm trees you guys will see in the next flight uh, I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, you can see I still need to work on some of some of my maneuvers, get them a little more locked in, but really just trying to, again, stay high on the throttle on this thing so that we can see really what time of, really what type of flight time you can get if you're being relatively aggressive. And I was actually slightly surprised. So we're about halfway through the pack here and I'll put up uh, what time we're at on the screen because I don't know exactly. Here's the power loop. I did one of those things where I'm like, nope, just kidding. I wasn't actually trying to do a power loop, which freestyle pilots always do that. I'm so guilty of that. I just need to get better at power looping on the whoops and stay on that throttle. But anyways, um, yes, yeah, so we're about 60% into the flight right now and the battery was starting to get low and we were only at like a few minutes. So I was a little bit surprised. I guess this freestyle may have been a little bit more aggressive than what I am used to. Also, I'm flying the HQ three inch durable props, which are quite a bit thicker than the Gemfan uh, 3018s, which I usually use on this. And who knows, maybe those props do eat up some of the efficiency. We could do a test if anyone wants to see, but still like I'm really happy with this flight time. I think we did come in at under four minutes on the 550, which I've definitely gone for over five minutes on different 550s. Not sure if these Ovonics just last a little bit less. Uh, I am using an Ovonic 550, which I'll put up on the screen as well. So I'm not sure, but I ended up just using this pack because it seemed good enough. And I think, um, you know, de really depending on your flight style, you may get over five minutes or you may get under. But the point is you're definitely getting a lot more than a traditional like 75 or 65 millimeter whoop, but probably double the flight time, which 
to me is just awesome. So yeah, we're coming in for a little landing here, I think, trying to squeeze as much time out as we can. And again, I'll have the time up on the screen, but I think I was a little bit surprised slash disappointed. But again, leaving it in because that's life and these batteries are fresh, by the way. Okay, let's check out the 850. Major fail. All right, not sure if you guys are ready for this. We are up and here we go, 850. I was kind of feeling myself on this pack at the beginning, honestly, like really impressed that this thing was actually freestyling as well as it was. I've flown packs on this thing before and was kind of like, ah, oh, this feels sluggish. I don't like it. It's only for long range. But now I was like, okay, you can see I bottomed out there. So it, you do feel the weight a lot, but with enough compensation on the throttle, um, you could rip this thing. So, all right, guys, I think I try to get into a trippy here and then my worst nightmare. So get into a little trippy. Yeah, I'll just let the footage speak for itself. Okay, so this clip goes on for, let's see, that was about 50 seconds. So we got stuck in the tree after about 38 seconds. This clip goes on for 15 minutes. I'm so surprised that the 04 was able to stay on. I think um, because I was recording in 1080 and because it was windy up there, it was getting airflow and it didn't shut off. My record on ARM hasn't been working. So I've just been like hitting record and then even when I crash, it keeps recording. So. Kind of nice that I had this, but basically I tried to crash mode, get out of it, tried to just blip the throttle and arm it. It was stuck in there real, real good. So yeah, uh, this was like my worst nightmare, guys. It was so high up. Here's a picture of the tree. So high up. Like I couldn't even throw a football to hit it. I'm, I have a really weak arm, but um, yeah, couldn't even throw a football to hit it. So after flying um, my 4S, after flying my... After flying my Grinderino up there to try and see if I could bonk it out, I couldn't even see it in that drone. So my neighbor came with a football. He's got a bit of a better arm than me and he hit the tree a couple times. We couldn't get it out. It got dark. So um, I actually texted my landlord who's super chill and has a lot of connections in this area where I live. And I asked her like, do you know anyone who has any like tree trimming equipment? Or like, I don't know. I thought maybe some big pole could get it out even though it was way up there. And she said that um, someone that works for her his brother actually does like tree climbing stuff and has retrieved stuff from trees before. So I got in contact with him and he came this morning to climb the tree and get it out for me. And here is some footage from that. So Lalo, you're a legend, man. Thank you so much. Uh, I was literally in tears yesterday after losing this, feeling so defeated and you came through for this. So don't worry, I paid him, paid him for his time and uh, tipped him out nicely because I was just in such a good mood after this. He got it in like two minutes. I literally looked away for a second and he's like up the tree holding the drone. So check this shot out of him holding it. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Yeah, best feeling ever. But when I got back, um, you could see there's maybe still a little bit of, uh, well, you can't really see, but I plugged in USB-C to the drone and there was no footage on it, which is so weird because I was recording with both the DVR and O4 Lite during my whole session, but yeah, came back to zero footage. So super strange. That's why I pulled everything from the DVR, from the SD card and the goggles. Yeah, lesson learned. Um, you know, I was a little too aggressive and I paid the price. So I'm definitely going to stay far away from palm trees. I'm okay with getting stuck in like a shorter tree that I can at least like hit with a football or a water bottle, um, you know, after spending a day on it. But this was just simply too high up. So lesson learned. Let's go talk about the concluding thoughts on this little three inch one S. All right, and real quick, you guys, I did end up going back to another park and doing an 850 milliamp hour test. So I'll play that underneath my concluding thoughts. I did chop it up a little bit because this video is already really long, but that was one battery, a couple crashes in there, but I just picked it back up and kept flying. So you'll get to see the total flight time soon. Is this little guy actually the goat of 1S battery versatility? And can you utilize 300 milliamp hour batteries to get more than two minutes of flight time? Well, I think overwhelmingly, to both, the answer is yes. And it really comes down to efficiency again. So I wanna talk about flight times in comparison to like a Meteor 75 because 
I think that is just a good stand-in drone, kind of a de facto whoop that a lot of people own. So the truth is, if you throw an 850 milliamp hour on the Meteor 75 Pro, well, it's gonna fly and probably for a long ass time. It's not gonna fly as long as this and not as agile, but the real beauty of this comes when you step down in battery sizes and hear me out. So with Meteor 75 Pro, if you use a 300 milliamp hour, yeah, it's gonna feel like a pocket rocket, but you're only gonna fly for 30 to 45 seconds, right? And I think this is gonna be the case with a lot of traditional 75 millimeter whoops or any drone really. Like, yeah, you can drop the battery. For instance, like this is a 4S Grandorino and I fly 650s and 850s on it. Sure, if we put a 450 4S on here, the thing would probably feel great. Super responsive, super agile, super light in the air, right? But it's only gonna fly for like a minute on that. So when you step down in battery size, I think the flight time just becomes unacceptable. Like less than two minutes is not okay. Let me know what you guys think though. How long do you expect your Whoop batteries to last? For me, I kind of bought into the marketing of like, oh, they last for five minutes, but really it's like all these Whoops last for five minutes if you're like flying like a baby. So I hear the two minute term getting thrown around a lot for 65 millimeters. So I feel like that's like the absolute minimum, but let me know what you guys think. Maybe I am just crazy and you're okay with like 30 second packs. Okay, but back to the efficiency. So stepping down in battery size, that's where this drone doesn't suffer nearly as much as other drones. And it's because of the efficiency of this thing. So you can move down to a 300 milliamp hour battery and still get relatively normal duration in the world of whoops. Like two minutes with that kind of flying, I'm really happy with that. Especially because I just kind of have these batteries sitting here. And I'm guessing some people might have some batteries sitting around that are from an old drone or maybe you're an idiot like me, not saying you're an idiot, but maybe you're like me and uh, accidentally bought the wrong batteries and you couldn't return them. So this is your friend. And come on, the fact that it can do 18650, it's an added bonus. So yeah, you guys, I can't say enough good things about this thing. I know this was kind of a glazing video. I tried to make it as educational as possible and at least provide some information for these other battery types. So in conclusion, I'm gonna keep ripping this, try to keep getting better at it. I'm going to hopefully try the new Beta FPV Lava batteries. They come in some interesting capacities that I haven't seen before. And I think they could actually be perfect for this. The 680 I'm kind of excited for could be a really nice mix of performance and efficiency. Stay tuned for that. Let me know what other types of videos you guys would want to see from me. And if you maybe want a dedicated build video of this, um, I'll do it. Consider subscribing. If you haven't already, really helps my channel out. I'm trying to grow a beautiful community of FPV like-minded individuals where we can all shoot the shit in the comments together. So have a great rest of your day, guys. Appreciate you being here. See you in the next one. Peace.